was cool. Yeah, after I uh, got all this stuff taken care of, I went for a quick drive just to go ahead and test everything out. And first gear, man. Woo! It feels faster. It's way freaking faster. <laughs> than it was before. It's so dumb. It kicks pretty good. <laughs> That's why people get those bigger turbos. Yeah. Well, and dude, it's still, in perspective to like, you know, other builds and everything, it's still a tiny turbo. It's still pretty tiny. But man, does it make such a huge difference. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I can feel it. That and those uh, TGV domains. Yeah, there's some air fuel learning going on. I think there's gonna be some adjustment. Okay. Uh, we'll get a couple more pulls in. Could go left here. Yeah. And I will go to my secret spot to get you a cool outside video. We might even spot people coming back from this event. This is probably somebody from there. Yeah, that slight stumble. I, I think I can clean that up. Sweet. Yeah, I felt it. I think it was just going rich way too quick. Intake temps look good, 88. We've hit a little over 19 PSI. We'll do one more pull and I'll see what your injector is at. Yeah, it was a little bit. It felt like it was kind of yes. up and down, huh? Yep, that can be smoothed out. The injector's at 50%, so yeah, if, it, if it'll be happy with a bit more boost, will up it to like 20. Sweet. Yeah, it's that long fourth gear pull where it um, hits the P, uh, desired boost and it kind of bounces off okay. and you get this kind of sine wave. Dumping the garbage. turbo makes better noises for sure. That's the first time I've messed a gear in this thing. It feels <laughs> so terrible. The, the suspense. Yeah, there's quite a bit of adjustment going on, so It'll feel smoother. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just kind of cruise it for a minute. Yeah, a little bit of fifth. It showed some knock. Uh, I don't know at what point, but I'll review the tune. Okay. And we'll smooth that out. It's not a crazy amount, but it's worth looking at. And but your global uh, identifier is at like 16, which is the max, which is good. Right. I've tuned cars where it's, if people have it at 14, 12, 10. That kind of means the engine's not happy. Yeah, when I was uh, still on my um, access port. It would go down? It, it was down to like 12 to 8 yep. at some point. Yeah, that just means considerable knock and occurring. And I was like, all right, I need to go ahead and message this guy, get an actual tune. Yeah, um, I'm tuning one tomorrow. The guy, I think, also has STI injectors, but the tune is still like a more or less off the shelf tune. Right. And so he has a V1 access port and he's like lucky it still works because a lot of those are just so old that they right. break. And then it's like, how do you unmarry it from the car? You probably have to go eBay searching for either a cord or send it to Cobb, same thing. 
for their for their for their fix. You want to do like a fourth or third? good it feels solid just clean it up you'll be on your way nice. hopefully not freak him out is he fishing Looks prime like prime spot yeah right to get snagged <laughs> that's a little close risk it for the bass One, two, gets you. Awesome, <laughs> yeah. It does well when you row from first, but yeah, when you step at, step in it, like third, fourth, that's where it needs a little bit of cleanup. Okay. But yeah, it feels strong. Yeah, this feels like a completely new car now. <laughs> start early like right here that's good it was more smooth yeah uh, but it was pulling like a degree or more okay. of timing I'll review it but yeah it was around 20 psi I think with this heat out here 20 is probably the max mm -hmm. um, once it cools down right I think it'll be more happy with 20 psi okay. and the timing is not crazy aggressive uh, but we'll check where it was giving a slight knock and we'll see what the timing is under full boost with Subarus uh, 15 degrees is good like not not wimpy and not aggressive Okay. Above 15 is where it gets more aggressive. Some people run up to 20 degrees of timing, but that's like risking it. Were you wanting me to flip around? Yep. But it didn't feel like it was fluctuating as much. Oh well. That was cool. 